And having established quorum with Councilman O to my right, Councilman Greenlee to my left, and Councilman Heenan to my far left, will the clerk read the title of the bill? Bill number 150749, an ordinance amending Title VI of the Philadelphia Code entitled Health Code by amending Section 6-503 entitled Licenses and Permits by adding certain terms and condition, uh, by adding certain conditions for food establishments to obtain a license all under certain terms and conditions. Thank you. We are waiting for Ms. Rebecca Swanson from the Department of License and Inspections. We have her written testimony, so I'll read it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're doing it in the middle. Good? Yes, you can proceed. Good afternoon, Chairwoman Sanchez and members of the Committee on Licenses and Inspections. My name is Rebecca Swanson. I am the Director of Policy and Legislative Affairs for the Department of Licenses and Inspections. Today I'm here to provide testimony on Bill Number 150749, which, if enacted, will amend Title VI of the Philadelphia Code entitled Health Code by adding additional language to the application for a food license. The bill would require the Department of Licenses and Inspections to create a new food license application on which applicants zoned as eating and drinking establishments as defined in section 14.6017F of the zoning code must indicate the specific use they are permitted as a prepared food shop, takeout restaurant, or sit-down restaurant. The department agrees that this information should be included on a food license and will begin work to create a new application to reflect this. We anticipate, com anticipate completion of this by spring 2016. The department notes, however, that this use indicator cannot be a simple check checkbox. This is because the uses enumerated in section 14.6017F were introduced with the new zoning code in 2012. The previous zoning code used different categories that do not align with these new use categories, so establishments that obtained a zoning permit prior to 2012 would have to be tracked differently in our system. The new information this new information will be of assistance to our inspectors when they are called out to inspect potential violations at these establishments. Currently, as part of the inspection, inspectors check whether the establishment has the proper food license and whether it is doing business in accordance with the permitted use on the zoning permit. Adding the use information to the food license will save the inspectors this extra step. More importantly, it will allow inspectors to see more quickly whether there have been any changes in zoning since the use permit was first issued. Since food licenses must be renewed annually, any changes in use would have to be reported on the next license renewal. Having extra eyes on these establishments is, in this way is crucial to identifying bad actors. The department's nuisance property task force considers these types of establishments as priority targets and inspects these properties upon complaint from community members and members of city council. We do these inspections in the evening so as to observe the establishment while in operation. These inspections include checking the food license and zoning as well as looking for property maintenance and fire code issues. However, we know that many of these establishments may not provide accurate information about their operations and in some cases, evidence of improprieties is concealed. And our inspectors are not always <coughs> able to catch establishments operating in a way inconsistent with zoning. The department must rely on other departments, such as the Department of Health, to bring potential violators to our attention. We will continue to cooperate with the Department of Health in this effort and determine if increased collaboration is necessary in order to achieve the goals of both departments and the goal of the bill. Finally, it is the department's understanding that the bill is intended to regulate establishments that have a state liquor license but operate in a way that is inconsistent with state requirements, particularly those establishments that sell shots of liquor. The department notes, however, that the department does not issue use permits for any type of liquor sales, nor can it undertake enforcement related to such. And the bill, as amended, does remove that reference. All liquor-related licenses and violations are regulated solely by the state. The department understands and shares the frustration caused by the loophole in the state liquor laws that allows these establishments to exist. And to that end, we partner with the State Liquor Control Board to bring suspe suspected offenders to their attention. 
But our, our inspectors catch an establishment selling liquor in a way that is incompatible with state liquor law. Legally, we are limited to calling in state authorities. Thank you for the opportunity to testify on bill number 150749. I am happy to answer any questions at this time. Any questions from the committee? Um, Rebecca, just for the, for the record, when um, an inspector uh, notices the sale of these shots um, and they call the state liquor law, what happens? Do we know what their protocol is? We do have a partnership um, with them and also with the local police captain. Mm -hmm. um, so we check, we check their zoning, we check the food, and then we, we usually do find some other violation there, whether it's um, a fire code violation with their kitchen equipment, things like that. So we'll cite them and, and handle that process, but we do the referral to the state. I, I know they come out and do their own investigation, but then as far as any sort of action taken on the license itself, remains with the state, and my understanding is that in many of these locations, because of the loophole mm -hmm. in the license, the, the liquor license, I don't think anything really happens. Can we get um, the Department of License and Inspection to officially notify the, Depart the State Liquor Control Board that this is an issue? Um, and uh, the reason I want to put it in writing is we need to talk to state officials around this, and I know some, there are members of the Philly delegation that are head of the liquor control, and I think this is an issue that's going to keep coming up because it's become yes. um, such a hot issue about being able to t get a shot in some of these uh, takeout establishments who have food licenses. Absolutely. It, our nuisance task force goes out to these at least 12 or 15 a month. They try to hit neighborhoods where there's a concentration of I think of we these. should send an official letter yes. for the record because I, I can foresee us potentially maybe asking the state folks and have some hearings about that and figure out how we tighten up some of that. And it may already be done, but I will double check, and I think a, a letter from the commissioner. If you have that, can you share yes, that with, absolutely. with the, with the if, committee? Yeah. And if we don't, I will make sure that we have one. Okay, thank you. Um, any other questions? Anyone here else to testify? Uh, okay. Um, uh, Chair recognizes Councilman O for a motion on the amendment. Uh, I, I move that the uh, amendment be uh, I'm sorry. Adopted. adopted. Second. All in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? Seeing none, can I get a motion on the, uh, on the amended uh, bill? Uh, I move that bill number 150749 um, as amended, as amended uh, be, moved be moved out of committee and a rule suspension um, what do I say with that? Yeah. and a rule suspension <laughs> waiving. Yes. Second. The, All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? Seeing none, Bill 150749, as amended, will be moved out of the committee with a favorable recommendation and further move that the council, the rules of council be suspended um, to allow first reading in our next council session. Um, there are no other businesses. Seeing none, the Committee on Licenses and Inspections meeting is adjourned. <laughs>